this video, we'll look at how to use the 3D PDF tool, which is an optional extra, but can be very useful as it gives you the ability to open a model of the project in a PDF reader, thus making it much more accessible as there is no need for proprietary software. To begin, ensure that the model to be output is active, as both the architectural and framing models can be output to 3D PDF. Now go to the file menu and select save as. Choose the necessary location and choose the file type as Adobe Acrobat documents with version set to PDF 3D. Now change the file name if required and click save. The other views dialog box will come up. Here you can check the views you wish to save to the PDF as well as adding in additional views with the insert button. Then give in the viewer name if required. Once the views are selected, click OK and the 3D PDF will be created. Open the 3D PDF in PDF software such as Adobe Reader. At first only a static image will be displayed, so click to activate the 3D model. Once the PDF is activated, there are a lot of features available to you. For example, this menu here allows you to choose from different rotational options. A useful feature within this menu is a 3D measurement tool. Seems to select the line to measure and then place the measurement. There are then the different views displayed in the drop down box, which are brought over when exporting from BD. The model tree menu works in a similar fashion to BD in that it allows you to toggle on and off different geometry types. There is also a feature to select any part, right click and hide this part. Furthermore, there are also options for altering the rendering mode and adding in additional light options, as well as changing the background colour. Another useful feature is the toggle cross section option. This concludes the video on 3D PDFs. Thank you for watching.